Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you again from the Cayman Islands. As you can see, the gorgeous sunset. Sunset happened just a few minutes ago, and this is um, the Tortuga Club in the Cayman Islands. So uh, we have had a fabulous time here diving, and as you can see, I'm having a major beach day, so thus the hat. And I just wanted to talk to you about finding some sizzle in your recovery path. Um, you know, when you're lying in bed for months and years on end, it's really easy to just lose your passion for life. And so I want to encourage you to think about things that you loved doing before you were ill and then finding some way to immerse yourself in that again. And I just want to share for me on my recovery path, it really helped because I was very inspired. Um, by someone who was a surfer and he was posting surfing pictures and that awoke something in me because before I became ill and in years before that I'd really been into windsurfing. I didn't get really good at it but I loved it and I was also a scuba diver and I just loved anything that had to do with the ocean. So what I did is I bought a windsurfing DVD and I began to watch it in the mornings in bed. And then I began to, when I did my little daily exercises, I would pull up pictures of windsurfing on my computer and just look at them. And that began to just inspire me. And, and what it did is suddenly I thought, well, wonder if I could ever train enough, do enough with CFS to where I could actually get out and get on a windsurf again. So what that did is it gave me a little carrot to work for. And that dream just began to be birthed and it began to grow and grow. Every time I would exercise, I would think about it. And uh, it just really gave me the motivation to be consistent. And then one day I thought, why not? After about eight months, I thought, let's go for it. So we took a trip. I got on a windsurf board and I was amazed how much that DVD, the instruction helped me because I got on and I sailed right away. So um, after that, the next, this year, I realized, well, I need another carrot because that's behind me now and I need to keep exercising every single day, doing my movement, doing my 10 minute walk, doing my little strength exercise routine. And you know, that can get pretty monotonous after a while. So what I did is I thought, well, you know what I'd love to do is I'd love to go diving again. Is that even possible? So I began training every day for that, not doing more, but it just helped me be consistent. And um, doing my swimming laps, it, I started with seven minutes the year before, but I had worked up, I actually was able to touch 10 laps. And so anyway, we planned a dive trip. We'd always wanted to get our kids certified. And um, so that's what we've done. And I've done really well. I've built more confidence in my body and what I can do. So that for me was a sizzle. It was a carrot. It was something I could reach for and something that gave meaning to my everyday routine. And you know, uh, we hear a lot about purpose and that is so important. And this is a lot like purpose. Now my big purpose is to be available to my family again, to live life again. Those are my big purposes for recovery. Um, but these are the little sizzles that make help me along the way. So, you know, you might be thinking, well, I wasn't into diving or into big sports like that, and that's fine. You know, if you loved, like, ancient history, go and get some books in the library or, or on your Kindle, and then watch some travel shows and dream about one day, who knows how, but it may open up where you can actually go there to the ruins and see these ancient cities. Um, or anything else you can think of. If there's a park that you love going to before you were ill, think about what you can do in your daily exercise routine that will help uh, get you to back to that park so you can see that every day. So that's just an idea. It's something that's helped me on my recovery path just to help me find inner motivation and inspiration to keep doing the things that I needed to do for recovery. Let's give you one more little view. I did a lot of this vicariously through other people's videos before I got farther down my recovery path. So I hope you enjoy seeing that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's warm. The, the water's like 80 degrees. So um, anyway, that's it. Take care. Remember, life isn't over. It's starting again.